Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. So I'm Neil Garrett, <laughs> they're talking to me already. I'm Neil Garrett, you've probably seen me on the uh, fan page and uh, I'm standing in for Vicky today and presenting, so apologies in advance about that. So, oh yeah, so no, Hayley's talking to me here. So yes, I'm the Managing Director of Sewing Street, so uh, I'm very glad to be back, Hayley, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Hayley. So, um, Obviously, you know, you've seen me on, uh, talking about the Q&A before and uh, we've had an overwhelming response on Facebook, which has been amazing. Um, you know, all I would say is I know a lot of the comments come to me, but there is a really great team behind me that have made all this happen. I mean, on a day to day basis, I generally uh, make tea and order pizza. So, you know, it's the guys behind the scenes that have kind of, you know, made all this happen. So I'm uh, really proud of my team and what they've achieved to get so in street live. So I'll start off with some uh, a couple of questions that have come through on um, the uh, fan page and by email and uh, then we'll talk through about how to shop and uh, you can, I'll show you some of the stuff that we've got on today and where this stuff came from. So a few questions that we've had. We've had a lot of questions about are we going on Sky, Virgin, Freesat uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're working on all that at the moment so there's a lot going on, on behind the scenes as you can imagine. So all this started really quickly. We kind of arrived as a team, we had to get everything on air and now we're going back and working on all the finer details but I imagine we'll be on Sky you know, in coming weeks um, or, you know, months, but we, we're definitely working there. Uh, the next big question on everyone's lips has been John Scott. Um, and is John Scott coming back? Well, John Scott to us will always be part of the, um, you know, sewing family. Uh, he's been with, he was with Sewing Corps to the team there. So um, John's currently working on another exciting project, you know, John Scott's Sewing World. So at the moment he's working on that and we'll see where the future goes, but the door will always be open to John. He is part of our family and we all love him very much. Uh, so we've had a few questions about the website at the moment. So we, at the moment we're sharing a building with Jewelry Maker. We're in a nice country house in Redditch uh, with a car park, which is a big step up from Digbeth, where we were before, where you used to park your car and wonder whether it'd still be there when you come out. Um, but we're in a lovely country ground sharing with Jewelry Maker. This studio is actually um, a cupboard in the back of Jewelry Maker's studio. And we're currently sharing Jewelry Maker's website as well. So when you click to Sewing Street, it takes you to part of Jewelry Maker's website. Behind the scenes, we're working on a brand new fancy website that will probably go live towards the end of March, early April. And we've taken on board a lot of feedback and things you want to see like wish list and, you know, we'll get all, all that on there eventually, but we'll kind of have a website in March. And then as time goes by, we'll add all these features in, but, you know, exciting website coming soon. Uh, yeah, a few questions about the show format, you know, Will it just be me blathering on or are we going to get demonstrators? No, we, the show format will be very similar to how we were at Sewing Quarter. So there'll be guest designers coming on, showing you tips, um, techniques and demonstrating projects. But obviously we've just got going and we've had to speak to all the guest designers, get them projects sent out. So it'll take a few weeks just before we have lots of guests coming in. But we've got some people coming in to demonstrate. Is it? Uh, we've got Susan Briscoe here tomorrow, so she'll be doing Sashko. Is that, is that even how you say it? Yeah, Sashko. So, yeah, so she'll be coming on, and we've got a few guests in next week as well. But as time goes on and we expand, we'll be doing more and more. But we do know that you love the demos, and we absolutely want to keep doing the demos for you. Uh, at the moment, we're on one hour a day, and that's live. That's because we've just got going, we've just got the team on board, and we will ramp that up as fast as we can. So... You know, as we've got as we've got products coming in and stuff, just bear with us and we'll get that back up to the, the uh, five hours. So I'll come back to do a bit more Q&A's afterwards because it might be a bit boring. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'll show you. Um, for, first, I'll show you the, the website so you can see how to shop. So if you go to www.sewingstreet.com, it will it will take you straight to the Jewelry Maker website. So we can press play here and you should be able to see us go live. This will be me next. Uh, we, because we're in a little cupboard, the, the internet is uh, really uh, slow here. So, ooh. Right, so if you scroll down, so the first thing you see here is a little box where if you haven't subscribed to our email already, you can put your email address in there and hit subscribe and then you'll get lots of exciting newsletters information about what's coming up. And then here you've got all the projects, products that are live for the day. So back in the old days, these used to kind of crop up as we were back on air. But on here you've got all the projects at the bottom so you can just click on there and add them to your basket. So, and you can just click on your products 
and you can add them to the basket. So a lot of feedback has said that you actually like this, being able to see the pro products in advance, but you can just add that to your basket. So I know a few of you struggled to sign up for accounts initially because we were on the same system as what Sewing Quarter used to use, but we've sorted that out now. So if you were a Sewing Quarter customer, you can sign up using your old email address. If you do struggle, if you just ring the phone number at the bottom here, our new phone, free phone number, 0800 001 then someone at the call centre will be able to get that set up for you and uh, get you going. So we've also got a Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Sewing Street TV. So we know that if you search Sewing Street on Facebook, we don't pop at the top yet. That's just because we're new and it takes Facebook a while to learn where we are. Um, but there's also the fan page, the Sewing Quarter fan page, which you're all part of. And we're going to keep the fan page going um, just as it is. In terms of renaming, I don't know. We, we might, we might not. But, you know, there's, you're all on the fan page. It's like a big family on there. So we'll continue to use the fan page as well. Okay, so anything, anything you want to do first, Hales? Koalas, okay. So when we started um, talking about getting Sewing Street going, we, the first thing is that we had to think about was getting some stock on board. So me, Hayley, who's the um, head of TV, and um, Paul, who looks after our buy-in, we decided to uh, go on a road trip around the country to all the suppliers we used to work with before and, and see what they had available. Now, when you go on buying trips, usually, you know, as the people doing the buying, you try and stay a bit poker face and, you know, when they go, do you want some of this? And you're like, yeah, it's all right, you know. But no, not Hayley. Hayley was like, you know, supermarket sweep, running around this warehouse with a trolley. Oh, my God, I'll have some of that, some of that, some of that. So we, we got to the end of this trip and there was this, there was a desk about this big and it was literally this high with bolts all the way along. And she's like, you know, I love this, I love this. So... So, yeah, they were. The, the supplier was like, you know, oh, this, this has been a nice day. Um, so today I've bought on the fabrics that I actually chose when I was there. So I, I managed, she let me choose a couple. Um, and the first uh, fabrics I chose are these koala fabrics. So, so I saw these there. It's the Joey range. This is blue koalas and this is by Riley Blake. Is that the right way up? Yeah. So you've got your little koalas on there and there's some sloths on there as well. So it's navy blue and you've got some nice little cute koalas on there. So we, we bought actually everything the supplier had from this. So you can't find this anywhere else at the moment. So I'll just show you the width like the famous 112 centimetres wide. So that's 44 inches. That's 6.99 a half metre. 100% cotton, quilting cotton. What would I make out of this? Um, I'd make a backpack for one of my children. My, my, uh, my five-year-old would probably love that. So the, with the, what's happened in Australia, there's a... The, there's obviously been some videos online and there's been a lot around the koalas that have obviously been affected and uh, there was a video of a, a lot of koala bears sitting in, the, in a car that someone had helped and like my five-year-old decided that's great, we should get koalas for our car too. <laughs> so <laughs> he's into koalas at the moment. The other koala we've got, and this is really cute. So this is obviously Riley Blake as well. And this is a cream and this has got lots of little koalas in there. Joe's going to have to zoom in to have a look at this. So both of these stocks, both of these are quite limited. They didn't have a lot left. We took everything they had. I like. There's a little koala. I don't know if you can see it with a little koala, with a baby koala sat on its head. That's the, that's my favourite. <laughs> so that's got a, that's got like a cream background, and the koalas are grey. And then you've kind of got these like little turquoise and orange accents on there. So, like before, this is available by the half metre, but if you buy more than, more than half a metre, you get it as a consecutive piece. So, if you order three units, you'd get a one and a half uh, metre long piece of fabric all in one go. 
I just, uh, I don't know if you saw the first time I had to present, but the folding, uh, sorry, Paul, I'm just, just being told off by little Paul. No. There you go, there we go. So those are... <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want next, Hayley? So, ones. So, these are, these are the next ones that I chose as well. And uh, these are So Let's Stitch. And uh, I'll show you the uh, main pattern first. Is that upside down or doesn't it matter? It's upside down. And then I'll show you something really cute on this fabric. So, if we have a good look at the uh, details there. So, this is 5.99 a half metre. And there's lots of really nice little sewing notions on there. There's lots of fussy cutting options you could do on this. You can make a, an apron for sewing. You can, you know, make a sewing bag, ironing board cover. So there's so many things you could do with this. It's a nice giftable fabric as well. So if you know someone who likes sewing, it's definitely something that you can, uh, you can buy for someone. And I'll just show you another little detail as well, which end is it? And this is pretty much the reason I chose it. This, this fabric has got the cutest salvage, so I don't know if Joe can get that. So, little cotton reels showing the colours. So, you, lots of people do collect their salvages, don't they? And use them as tags and all sorts. Just uh, put that one there. Okay. So this has got the same lovely salvage and this one there's so much you could do with this either cutting them up or just using it as one one piece of fabric so so this is called labels you could either use it as a continual piece or you could actually cut it up into the individual labels you can make fabric bookmarks I mean, it looks like it's already been patchwork, so if you just sew, sew lines down where the dashed dash lines are and quilted it that way. So this one has sold very well. Lots of these have already gone out. So over 50% of that's gone. So that's 5.99 a half metre. I mean, obviously, with putting the products online before we go live, it does mean that people can check out before we've actually put the product on air. So actually 50% of this checked out this morning before we even went live. So very popular. So we've got some, we've got a pinwheel there. We've got some cotton reels, little scissors hanging on a string there and other notions. So if you're making gifts, it's nice to add this on as a little personalization. So if you bought just half a meter of this, you could cut out you could cut out loads of these. So if you see how many labels are actually on one piece, you kind of got I'm gonna test my counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Loads. I've got to thirteen for there, so it's gonna be at least thirty, isn't it? So I didn't think that through, did I, before I went to count? <laughs> loads <laughs> there's a good there's a good 30 labels on there so if you're making gifts for people and using them as labels <laughs> oh yes yeah, so that brings me to a question Hayley's just reminded me so um someone on the facebook asked me what my first ever sewing and last ever sewing project was um well i used to do a bit of sewing when i was a kid because my mom was into sewing so she used to get stuff out and we used to I'd say help, not sure it was really helping, but we used to kind of, uh, you know, sew stuff together as children. She used to, they, my mum goes through phases, I hope she's not watching, but, you know, she gets really into a hobby. She does it all the time and then she moves to the next one. So, you know, she's done cross stitch and all kinds of different things. So we did cross stitch for a while and I remember doing a cross stitch uh, Spitfire because um, I was always like into planes and stuff. So everything had to be about planes. But more recently, the first bit of sewing I did when I joined Sewing Quarter was I had a hole in my trailer's pocket and things kept dropping through. So I thought, I know, I'll, I'll sew the pocket. And I asked some people in the office, can you sew for me? They're like, no, sew it yourself. So I got my pocket while I was wearing my trousers and I leaned and I fed it through a sewing machine. <laughs> sewed the pocket short, really proud. You know, good job that, you know, nothing fun in my pocket. So fine, it was fine all day. 
I got home, took my jeans off, and I'd sewn my pocket to my boxer shorts. <laughs> so <laughs> I had these boxer shorts actually sewn to the inside of my jeans. So that was the first bit of sewing I did um, when I joined a sewing course. That was about a couple of years ago. Um, and since then, I have made a couple of quilting blocks um, badly. So I'm, I'm definitely not an expert, and uh, you won't see me demoing anything anytime soon. So there's, there's, my, there's my sewing experience. So we'll move on to the next panel, <laughs> next, next fabric. Um, this is the same range. So this has got a nice, um, it's kind of like a turquoise slash sky blue background. Probably looks, a, probably a bit teal. It looks a little bit greener in real life than it does on the screen I'm looking at. Um, but you've got lots of, little, lots of little cotton reels and thimbles and uh, threaded needles. So when I went through the warehouse, um, trying, to, trying to get in um, amongst what Hayley was running around grabbing, this was the first range that I picked that I really liked. And I thought these were lovely. I think there's so many things you can do with them. I think some fabrics you look at and think, well, that's lovely, but I don't know what I'd do with it. I think this is almost the opposite, that you look at it and think, wow, there's hundreds of things I can do with that. Tote bag. You know, so when you go into the festival of quilts, do you want to make yourself a bag to go and collect all the booklets and all the stuff in? Could also make yourself a sewing machine cover for it. Make yourself an iPad holder. There's all kinds of stuff you could do with that. This it feels about 112 centimeters wide, so very good at estimating by my arm span. <laughs> so it's very nice. So. You could definitely mix and ma match with the other twos you've got there, or I think some people are buying the whole collection by the look of it. Yeah, so these are flying out really well, and people are buying people are buying units of each. So obviously people want all three in their collection. So your PMP, if you order one, it's three ninety five. Um, if you order two, it's three ninety five. Three, so it's three ninety five all day. So no matter how much stuff you add to your basket, it's always three pound ninety five. So if you had a sewing machine, it doesn't matter how heavy the item is, it's just one fee, £3.95 all day. So you can order anything you want up to midnight. So after you've finished watching the live show, you can go back on the website, look through the products. If there's anything else you want to add, just add it to your basket. Uh, postage stays the same. Okay, so I chose these as well, um, clouds and leaves, um, and for two different reasons. So we'll start with the, uh, with the clouds. Um, and the reason I chose the clouds is I'm currently doing flying lessons. So hopefully by May, I'll be whizzing around the skies on my own. So because I'm doing this, people have claimed I've got my head in the clouds. So I thought this was perfect. <laughs> So this would be great for kilt backing, great for the back of a cushion, um, you know, great for if you, you know, making a quilt to have uh, on the front as some uh, nice, interesting detail. So does anyone know what type of clouds they are? Are they, they're not, are they cumulus clouds? Don't know. I should know my clouds. Yeah, there's different types of clouds, Hayley. Yeah. I haven't done my meteorology bit in flying yet. They're like, <laughs> so Hayley's Haley, been on Google. She's found an authoritative website and informed us that these are cotton wool clouds. <laughs> so apparently these are nice white fluffy clouds that we like, uh, not the gray ones that get you wet. So, no, we haven't seen clouds like this for quite a while. It's just the gray ones that get us wet at the moment. So that, that's 112 centimetres wide as well, 5.99 a half metre. Um, so Hayley said, can anyone learn to fly? I would have said yes, Hayley, until I met you. <laughs> <laughs> so me, me, me and Hayley live near each other and we car share to work every day. And so we, we go the same journey from where we live to Redditch. We live kind of near Dudley, Merry Hill Centre Way. And we drive to Redditch every day and we take it in turns. So 50% of the time she's driving, 50% of the time I'm driving. Every morning it's like, is it right here? And like, it's left. 
So we turn left and then she's like, I need to turn left there, don't I? I'm, I'm, no, Hayley. And we have this every morning. So we, we got here this morning and bear in mind we've worked in Redditch for ages and Hayley used to work here before. We, we popped to McDonald's, so we get in the car and I don't think to tell her where we're going because it's literally less than a mile away. We get to the island, she turns left and I'm like, Hayley, it was right at the island. So we had to turn around and get back. So... Yeah, it's why she's late every day. So if Hayley did learn to fly, there's no way she'd ever land at the same airport she took off from. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's, uh, that's very limited. There's, uh, only, there's only 10 metres left in stock of that now. So if you want that, you need to be quick. So if you did a hot air balloon quilt, we did one of those ages ago, that would be great for that. So the next one... Um, and I, do, I, I take a lot of pictures and I put them on my Instagram account. Um, and one of the nice picture I took was of autumn leaves just before Christmas. So I was walk. I went. We went. For, I took the kids for a walk through the wood, local woods, and there was really nice autumn leaves everywhere. And this just reminded me of a photo I took. There's so many nice colours in this. It's really, really deep, vibrant colours. So you've got. Reds, oranges, yellows, greens. It's, Paul says it's unbelievable. So, me messaging if you're missing Paul's gags. No, said nobody. <laughs> but even the greens in this, there's like a, a massive range of greens. You've got really dark green, you've got light green. You've also got green there that looks a bit neon. It's nice natural colours. There's a bit of a ego, there's a bit of navy green in there for everyone who watched me first time round. So, yeah, navy green makes a return. So, in the office, from, I had to stand here from um, Tash and did, and did five hours a while back, and I, I used the term navy green, and that's just thrown back at me all the time in the office now. Whenever we talk about anything green, they're like, is it navy green, Neil? So, but apparently I googled it, and navy green is a colour. So I was right. Well, well I wasn't right because it wasn't navy green what I was holding up. But I was right. <laughs> I was right that it existed. <laughs> so, so that that by the arm meter is 112 centimeters wide too. It's really nice quality cotton. So, I mean, the from the sewing quarter days, one thing that sewing quarter was famous for was the quality of the cottons we bought in. And that's just continued, you know, they're always the nice quality, 100%, you know, nice weight, um, just good quality cotton there. So this is very popular as well. So these two are flying out. So if you want either of those, you need to be quick. So at the moment, we don't have live stock in, this, in the gallery. We're always a little bit behind. So we can't give you as accurate um, information now on how many we've got left. So... We know we're running a bit low on these, but you do need to be quick. And if they have sold out already, um, apologize, apologies, but we are, our, our system runs slightly behind. So I'll do a few more questions. Um, so one question we've had is just about the quality of the show because the graphics are a bit fuzzy and the picture's not great. So at the moment, this is a temporary studio. And it looks great on camera, but if you actually, if we could turn the cameras around, we are literally in a cupboard in Jewelry Maker, so it is tiny. Um, and this is what this is the same studio Jewelry Maker used to film their DVDs. So we're kind of camping out in here while we get our own studio sorted out. So we'll be moving soon to a, um, our own studio, and then the quality will be a bit better. But at the moment, we're kind of bouncing the signal all over the place just to get it out on, onto screens. So it will definitely improve as time goes on. Um, next few weeks for that. We've also had some questions about warehouse staff and call centre. So did they come across? So we, a couple of team members, Zoe and Andrea, came from the warehouse initially um, while we get going. And as the operation grows, hopefully we should be able to take uh, the, you know, more of the warehouse team on as well because the warehouse team are really great. You know, they really cared about their roles and they, uh, you know, they loved to send out the stuff for sewing quarter, write the little notes on. Um, so they'll be on soon. The call centre team are exactly the same team who answered the phone before because we used to outsource our call centre to Gemporia. So the Gemporia call centre stands to the phone. So it's the same people who you were talking to before. So they already have got a lot of knowledge about what we're doing. So we haven't had to 
retrain them. They already know about the cotton. They know about the different machines. They know if you ask them about whether it's high shank or low shank on a machine, they know where to find that information. So it's great that we've managed to keep a really talented bunch of people on board. And a few people about, uh, ask about contacting the studio. So at the moment, we can't do it the same way we did before on the website. We're getting an email address live, hopefully, in the next week or so, so we'll put that out. But in the meantime, if you contact us on Facebook, we can get messages that way. So Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Sewing Street TV. So if you go on there and pop any questions in, then uh, we'll pick them up on board. So um, Advent calendar. So we've had a question, are we doing an Advent calendar this Christmas? Um, the, the honest answer is, I don't know. Um, at the moment, we've got this uh, massive task of scaling back up to five hours, so we're absolutely flat out. And in order to get the Advent calendar for Christmas, we kind of need to have done it by March. So um, we'll try, but we can't guarantee it this year round. If we don't do it this year, we'll have an even better one next year. So we'll definitely have loads of stuff in for Christmas, loads of goodies. Um, we're already planning Christmas in July. We're already looking at ranges and stuff, so lots of stuff in for Christmas coming already. Um, someone asked, will we have glue pens in? Yeah, we will definitely have glue pens. Um, I think Hayley has added those to a supermarket sweep. So, you know, there's probably a million on a boat now coming in. <laughs> so we have them surrounded everywhere. So Hayley, Hayley gets very excited when she's ordering anything. It's like click, 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 click. So, and then Paul, the buyers, they're going, oh, I'll just take that down a bit. Um, are we getting an app? So, yeah, we'll get an app at some point. So, again, you know, we've got this really long list now of things we need to do. So, but, but we will get an app um, and it'll be very similar to the one we had before where you can view the live feed and buy products. Um, someone's asked me, can I tell you what guests are coming up and who the other presenters will be? Um, I can't tell you, but there's, um, there's lots of familiar faces coming back. <coughs> um, there's, there's new faces. Uh, there's, Su there's Subrisco coming in tomorrow. We've got Jane Greenoff coming in. Um, there's Noel from Crafty Products. Um, but at the moment, there's lots of conversations going on, so I can't tell you all the details. Um, in terms of presenter lineup, we're very close to finalising that. But again, until people have signed on the dotted line, then we can't share that information with you just yet. Um, but it won't, it won't be me, don't worry. Hopefully this is the last time you'll have to tolerate me on a, on a weekend. Um, will there be a new pin badge? Um, yeah, we'll do a new pin badge. We like pin badges. Uh, and then, yeah, I actually collect pin badges. Hannah's just reminded me. So... Um, I've, when I was a child, I started collecting pin badges everywhere I went and I started off on a little flag, these pin badges on, and now I've got like a big flag and it's just covered in pin badges from all the little places I went as a child and uh, sewing quarter badges as well. I have got the sewing quarter badges, yes. I've got all three of them. Um, I didn't buy them though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I liberated the badges. Um, I gave them a new home. So FlexiPay will definitely come soon, but not until after we've got our own website going. So it'll be a while yet, but we, it, we can definitely do it this time round. We'll definitely do that soon. And early birds, will they come back? They will eventually. Um, but again, just because the amount of stuff we've got to do at the moment, we're not quite there yet. So... Okay. So Jan wants the... Um, Jan wants the sew, what fabric? She wants the sewing machine fabric, the sewing fabric, but can't remember how to get it. So if you um, go to www.sewingstreet.com, okay, so just a bit of ropey direct in there, sorry. <laughs> so if you go into the sewing street, uh, www.sewingstreet.com, then you'll come to here. So the top of the screen, you'll have to press play to see it moving live, but you'll have a live video, live feed of uh, me today. And usually someone much better, but just me today. And then if you scroll down, <clears throat> you'll be able to see all the products down here that are available. And they, they do disappear from here if they, if they go out of stock. So these are all the fabrics we've got on today. So if you wanted that one, for example, just touch that. And then you can see there that it shows in stock. It's ready to available to add to basket. So let's see who's logged in. We can buy them some fabric. So comes up, check out at the corner, and you hit check out. This will probably take you to, I don't think we're logged in, so this will probably take us to making an account. So you can either make an account there. 
So you can enter your email address and you can just check out securely there. Oh, thank you, Karen. Karen said I'm doing a great job. Thanks for lying. And that she loves my fabric choices. <laughs> So a lot of people are coming in and saying, thanks, Neil, for getting things done so quickly. Just had one from Jean. Um, but it is very much a team effort. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who work very hard behind the scenes to make it happen. Yeah, there's about eight of us now. So <laughs> for, the, for the first week of sewing quarter, there was literally only me that worked here. <laughs> it was just on my own. And, uh, you know, gradually more and more people come, come across. And uh, to be fair, Immediate Media, who own sewing quarter, have been really good to us. They've allowed us to release team members and, and helped us get going. So we really appreciate that. What do you want to do next, Hayley? Okay. The sloths. So we've got some more goodies coming up. Um, we're going to start off with the sloths. We've got a big, a big mat and a, a big mat and apparently a littler mat. I think, I think it's smaller. <laughs> So, what is the big one first? Okay. So, these are brand new, um, not just to us, but to the market. And we've had a look and we can't find these anywhere. And these are lovely. So, what is it? So, this is a cutting and ironing mat. And we've got two. This is the slightly larger one. So, and I'll show you inside. So... So this has got an A3 multi-mat on here. And on the other side, you've got an ironing pad. So your cutting mat is self-healing. It's 17 inches by 11 inches, which is 43 centimeters by 28 centimeters. It's got metric and imperial measurements. And you can obviously use that with your rotary cutter and ruler to cut, cut out your, your patchwork. So measure and cut out. So it's self-healing as well, so it will last. So this is perfect for quite a few different types of people. You can go travelling with it. So if you're going to your if you're going to your quilting classes, you can take it with you. If you're going to a friend's house, one thing you can do is you can actually sandwich material in it. So you can sandwich your material, fabric. Sorry, Hayley. Sandwich, <laughs> sandwich your fabric in there and, and take it with you. And then when you open it up, it's uh, nice and laid out still. So you've got a nicer uh, ironing mat there. So which is good for pressing the seams. So Heat proof, obviously, Hayley, yeah. So you can, you can take this with you, um, or you can also, if you've got a smaller workspace, or whether if you're working downstairs, you can, you know, use it there. So you can fold it the opposite way. So if you're just using the cutting mat, you can use the cutting mat. If you're just using the ironing, you can use the ironing side. So really functional, but actually, just look at the design on it. So nice. So getting the right way up. So sloths are really popular at the moment. They seem to be cropping up everywhere. They are cute though, aren't they? So this is really robust as well, really good quality. So we've had one of the similar to this before, but it was a lot more expensive. So this is $29.99. It's A3 size, 395 PMP all day. So that's a lovely present for someone as well. So it's got nice carry handles, so you can take it for a walk. So, but it's nice and narrow. There you go. So great for storing things in. So if you go to some of these workshops that... Um, I've been to some of these workshops and you have to share equipment and sometimes you're waiting for someone else to finish with a cutting mat so you can have it. This would be great to take with you because you've just got your own. And then, should we show you the smaller one? So this one's similar but different. So you've got the same uh, fabric, but whereas the bigger one, this is like hardback. This is, this is uh, soft and squidgy, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So this is multi-use. I mean, it's only $14.99, but when, you open, when I open it up and show you inside, this is amazing. So 
we open it up, I'll open it this side first. So you've got a smaller cutting mat here. This is A4 size. So you've got inches on there, so 12 inches by eight inches. It's self-healing again. You've got pre-drawn pre, uh, lines on there to help you cut, imperial and metric. And then this side is when it starts to get clever. So if you remember a long time ago, we did the K facet design wall, you may remember that. So this has got a piece in here of felt that you can lay your fabric out on so you can experiment and see how it's going to look. So if you're doing EPP or any kind of quilting, this is great for seeing how fabric works together. And again, that's not everything I'll show you more in a minute, but again, you can fold it and take it with you. But this has got another, another feature as well. And I saw this ages ago, um, sandpaper on a board. And I did actually wonder why someone had sandpaper for sewing. I assumed it was just for sorting out nails or something. But this has got a piece of sandpaper here. And this sandpaper will grip fabric when you're drawing on it. So you put the fabric on there, then if you wanted to, not with a biro, but. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, this is a new fabric pen, looks exactly like a biro. Uh, <laughs> coming soon. Um, it holds the fabric really still while you draw on it so you can get a nice line. So here I am writing with my right hand when I'm left handed upside down with a biro on fabric. <laughs> with a blue pen on blue fabric. Is this the, is this the best demo you've had? <laughs> so it went much better in prep this morning. Uh, but you've got this sudden paper layer here which is rough and it stops the fabric moving so if you are drawing lines with a ruler it just keeps the fabric. So it won't do, do any damage to the fabric. It just it will just stop it slipping. So fourteen ninety nine is an amazing price for this because there's more. I haven't even shown you everything yet. So this surface here is actually an ironing pad as well. So you can actually use this to iron your seams. So it's kind of like four in one. Is it four in one? Have I counted right? So we've got ironing mat, a pattern marker anti-skid layout sheet, which is the K-facet design wall, and a cutting mat. So four different things, in, and that would be great just to keep on your desk. It's the kind of thing that you can keep, you know, just keep underneath and just get it out whenever you need to use it. Uh, this is selling really well, so, so mo half the stock of this has gone now. So if you want this one, you do need to be quick. So it's brilliant value too, 14 99 and it's four different uses. Nice A4 size. Oh, someone's asked to see the size differences. So it's about half, yeah. Yeah. So like A4 piece of paper, A3 piece of paper. Oh, quite a few people are buying both. So it is a nice set to have together, isn't it? For very different uses. Oh, they nearly. Oh. Nearly lined up, yeah. <laughs> Not quite. There's pattern matching. So, I, um, I, I saw someone put a post of uh, someone on a game show and they pattern matched their jacket with their shirt underneath. It looked amazing. So they're wearing a very colourful jacket with a really striking pattern on and they had a shirt underneath made of the same material and they pattern matched it so where the jacket finished and the shirt began, it matched. So, okay. Okay, so Hayley's really keen on the beehive. So Hayley, Hayley, Hayley picked this, these stuff. So these, these things. So she's really excited about these. So we've got this pin cushion here, a hexagon sewing kit and a drawstring bag. So sewing kit first, okay. Paul, Paul says, make sure I beehive myself. Anyone? No. So this is really nice. You've got, it's um, like a cream linen fabric on there. It's very decorative. Um, so I'll show you the top first. You've got a nice little bee here. Nice and cute. And my favorite, it's definitely a bee. And then here you've got little hexy stitches as well. So really good prices on all three of these. So twenty two ninety nine. 
So, and now I'm going to show you inside. So, take the lid off and then. So, just go in and see what we've got. So, in this size, this side we've got some, we've got some little scissors in here for cutting your threads. Embroidery. We've got. Okay, we're going to try and get that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Look, hey, overhead camera. So, we've got the scissors in this pouch here for embroidery. We've got nice tape measure there, we've got a, se a seam ripper, a needle threader, so um, nice, that's a nice colourway of, uh, of basic uh, thread there, and then he here you've got um, a little uh, pouch to put whatever you want in with a little bee in there as well, and in the middle we've got a pin cushion. So again something really nice to take out and about with you, or just something nice to sit on your, on your desk, so sit in your sewn area. So all moves close together. I mean, because I'm a bit messy, I just chuck stuff in there as well. <laughs> but other people would be far better. Yes, sweets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, let me just open my sewing box, get a, get a sweet out. Oh, people are being too kind, um, saying they really enjoy me on the show and I should do more. Um, I, I think I've got a face for radio, if I'm honest, um, but not a voice route. So there you go. I'll, stick, I'll stay in the office. There's 20 minutes to go. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl's ordered the Koala fabric. She likes seeing me as well. Getting loads of messages. Thank you very much. Sloths are very in. Oh, we're getting hundreds of messages. Oh, we're having lots of private messages as well. So thank you. So they'll hate in the office on Monday. I'll be walking around like with a big head. They'll hate it, but <laughs> no, I won't. Do you want to go to the bee, the little beehive next? So this is probably the cutest pin cushion I've ever seen. It's lovely. It's got a little door for them to go in and out. It's got little bees all sat round it. Oh, believe me, believe the the gags today are terrible. So I can see I can see why they're uh, producing and not doing stand up. So we're trying to get the graphics in. It's uh, oh no, she's broke it. So this is lovely. I'll just uh, show you the back as well. So this is nine ninety nine. And. And these all come in nice gift boxes as well. We've always taken them out of the packaging because we're only on for now, but these come in nice little packaging as well if you wanted to gift it. But 9 99 is, we, we had a look this morning and 9 99 is so good for this price. So good for this. We couldn't find it 9 99 anywhere. So it's so lovely just to have sat on your desk with your pins in. Re make a really nice gift. There you go, that's a nice photo if I'm not in the way, the wrong way. There you go. Ah. Yeah, you could take a nice, that would look a nice picture, wouldn't it, on the website? If I move it in the middle of the frame, because the cameraman's not moving, so I'll do it. <laughs> it's like, wake up, Joe. <laughs> so it does, it looks very handcrafted, it's very nice. Yeah. So that's 9 99 And then the third in the set, and we've, we've had a lot of people have already bought all three. So this is a nice drawstring bag. <clears throat> So again, it looks like a big version of that, really, doesn't it? So sixteen ninety nine. You can put whatever you want in here, obviously. What have we put in here, Paul? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Is it is it exciting? Is it exciting? No, it's toy stuffing. <laughs> so you can keep your toy stuffing in there. So it's nice size. Uh, little Paul would keep all his off cuts in there. That's a really good idea. Have it by the side of your desk and you can put all your little scraps in there. That'd be a brilliant idea. So, amazing price. So we've seen it elsewhere for a lot more, but it's $16.99. You've got your three ninety five dollars potion packing all day. There you go. We need a little turntable, look. There you go. It's all right, I'll do it. So, so we've got a really nice set there. So you've got sixteen ninety nine for the bag, you've got nine ninety nine for the uh, for the pin cushion, 
and 20, $20.99 for the little sewing kit. <coughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh, I'm trying to have a drink. <laughs> I, didn't... <laughs> I didn't even manage to get a drink, did you make me laugh? <laughs> right, I'm... <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't talk that long without drinking, sorry. There you go. <laughs> we'll show you the website so I can have a slurp of coke. Oh, that's it. I feel better now. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorrystreet.com. Paul says I'm not coming back. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth said, Neil, tell them to beehive themselves. Little Paul says that was his joke. She, she told it better than you, though, Paul. Okay, so you've always loved these little gift sets. So, and we'll show you, we'll, we'll come back to these in a moment, but these are really nice. So you've got rose gold, you've got some rose gold little pins in there, thimble, some little embroidery scissors, and a nice bigger pair of scissors, and these are the millwood. So, so I'll come back to those in a minute. Just gonna show you this little storage caddy first. So, Again, this is Millwood. Um, the nice thing about Millwood stuff, you know, you've seen it for a long time on the same court, is you always know what you get with Millwood. It's always really nice quality. So the way that the edges have been made, and is it dove, dovetail joints? So I did woodwork at school, did woodwork. So nice joints on the corner. So not just um, glued, nice dovetail joint there. And it's really smooth as well. You can't feel the joints on there. It's a really nice quality. Um, you've even got dovetail on the handles as well. So it's not just um, tacked together and or glued, it's a really nice finished item. So perfect to have on your desk for stuff that you use often, but maybe not all the time. So, cause you can put stuff in there and you can move it and then bring it in when you use it. So, so one of my hobbies is, is making um, models. I, I make all kinds of models. I'm, I'm into Lego as some of you know, but I also make big airfix and there's certain tools that you kind of want to keep all together but you don't use all the time. That'd be brilliant, that would to have them in there. I might uh, try it. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> I might buy one, obviously, yeah, buy one. But this would be great to keep those tools in that you know I want to bring to the work desk all in one go, um, but I also want to just move them out of the way in one go as well. Sorry, I keep moving it. Joe's looking angry at me. His nostrils are flaring. I'm, I'll, I'll leave it alone now, Joe. <laughs> Angle it forward for the depth, okay. So that's fourteen ninety nine. I put my hand in, Paul. Okay. I mean, they don't know how big my hand is, do they? <laughs> there you go. It's 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 longer than Neil's fingers. <laughs> so have we got anything that uh, we got? There we go. Oh, I'm not allowed to show those. Okay, not yet. Right, so my, my glamorous assistant, actually, no, it was Joe. <laughs> so they're about four inches deep. They are about four inches, so they're quite, they're four inches deep, four inches wide. Yeah, a good producer would tell me all of this, but unfortunately I've got Hayley today. And about two and a half inches that way. So quite nice size uh, squares there. So overall it's about about 10 inches wide, 10 and a half inches wide. So one thing, one thing, one thing, so Paul likes shabby chic in his house. And, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, no, I, I thought he said it's actually a bit chabby chic, but um, yeah, he, Paul said he would paint it. <laughs> so you could paint that, paint it a nice gray. Oh, you could co cover it in fabric, if you're really good. I, mean, I couldn't, but someone, someone could. But that's really nice. Oh, uh, everyone's want, everyone wants the scissors, do they? Okay, let's go to the scissors then. Okay. So, 
so the reason we pick these up from, from is because we used to do the scissors on, on their own for the same price as the whole set we've got here. So this is really good value. So I'm gonna show you everything you, everything you get, if I, can, if I can get into it. This is like one of those, whenever you buy a new pair of scissors from Ikea, there's a, there's a zip tie holding the scissors together. So you need a scissor, pair of scissors to open the new pair of scissors. And I'm like, if I had a pair of scissors, I wouldn't be buying a new pair of scissors, would I? So it's like this vicious circle, isn't it, of scissors that, you know, got to try and, try and find a pair that you can use. So, but, but oh, Hayley, Hayley's t telling me I definitely wouldn't use these to open them, would I? No, these are just for fabric. So got a lovely pair of um, fabric scissors there. Well, that's got a really nice feel to it as well, really smooth. So, rose gold. Okay. We've, rose gold's gorgeous, yeah. Rose gold's always the most popular colour. We often have gold, silver and rose gold, and whenever we have that option, rose gold always goes the best. So, some little embroidery scissors there. And then we've got some little rose gold headed pins. Hayley's mocking the way I say little. This is someone who says Fowen is mocking how I say little. <laughs> Fowen. And then you've got a, I have to be careful what finger I put that on. <laughs> got a, a little rose gold thimble, that, thimble there. <laughs> a little top hat. i draw some <laughs> eyes and nose. So you get your nice uh, figure scissors. You get your little embroidery scissors, your rose gold pins and your thimble for the price of... $19.99. So you could easily pay that just for that pair of scissors. So effectively, you're paying the scissors and you're getting the rest for free. So they're Millwood as well, so you know the quality you're getting with Millwood. See, what I would do is if I wanted a pair of scissors, I'd buy those and then I'd use those for gifts for my family to save actually paying for them. But this is a lovely set for birthday and Christmas and then you've always really loved these sets. They're really nicely packaged as well. So we've got Easter and Mother's Day coming up. So maybe instead of buying people chocolate, no, I'd, I'd rather have the chocolates, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can do some nice Easter gift, Mother's Day gift as well. Or, or just treat yourself. Just be, just be selfish, don't get a gift for anyone. Just, just buy, it for you. Buy, it for, buy it for yourself. So nineteen ninety nine for those three ninety five. Okay, so the exclusive jelly roll. I can't remember. You put that back together. Okay, so we got asked to show these again from yesterday. We had quite a few people asking about these. Because you, yeah, because I've picked the blue one up. We'll go for the other one. That's fine. So, this is the Berry Geometrics design roll, and this panel is absolutely huge. So, they're two and a half inch strips. It, it, it is. It's bigger than me, yeah. I'm not tall enough to show you everything. <laughs> but it's uh, two and a half inch strips, and you've got a nice gradient there, going from a kind of purpley raspberry. <laughs> Should I do that? <laughs> I've got... A... I think... <laughs> I just got my leg trapped on my microphone. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> so, if I you've seen the width, the width, the width is um, I'd say based on my arm width, that's about one hundred and forty, and then it's a meter long as well. So you've got lovely. There you go. So if I, there you go. We'll hold it the other way so we can show you each one. So each one's actually got a different design. So they're all very geometric. And they kind of start off with a kind of light pinky colour. And they're going to go through to like a deeper purple and actually claret. Like villa colours, claret. So they're great for binding, sashing, EPP. So and by getting the jelly rolls where well, you get so many colours in, in one go, 
If you're buying this by the half meter, how many half meters would you have to buy to get that color range? They're just counting them for us. That's 1999. <laughs> and then, so these are exclusive to Sewing Street, Haley. Yes. So <laughs> she's. So these are exclusive to Sewing Street. You can only get them here, nowhere else. And again, I'll show you the width. That's 140. 140, according to my arms, yeah, that's 140 wide. Um, be with you in four to six working days. I'll just hold it the other way so you can, we can pan and look at the uh, detail again on it. So these are going from quite a, a light turquoisey blue. So on my right hand side, they're kind of a bit more green. Uh, with a light background with greeny details on and they kind of fade through to um, navy blue. Navy blue is a real colour, isn't it? You've got like a navy blue and a light blue, so a really nice range there. They all complement each other really well as well. The detail's amazing. So all you need to do is just cut those out into strips. So just rotary cut out. You could use your mat that you've bought, wherever I put it. Oh, it's under here. There you go. You could use your, use your mat, although you probably want a bigger mat to do that, but... Just easily cut them into strips. Okay, so a limited stock alert on these. So earlier in the week we launched um, <clears throat> four different quilting extra wide backing fabrics. Two have already sold out and these last two are, are very limited now. So if you want these, you need to snap them up quickly. So we'll do the red one first. So these are 108 inches wide, so that's definitely longer than my arm span, uh, which is 274 centimetres, which is so nearly three metres. As I say, so yeah, so what you can see there is, is half of it. If I get the other half. So, eight ninety nine for half a metre. So there's less than ten units of the red left. So, yeah, you need to be as quick as you can on that one. And that's that's it folded in half, so you can see how wide it is. And then the black one is exactly the same, but this is the pattern. Less than twenty units of the black. So Hayley's going to try and reorder these, so we should get them back in, but these have been very popular. And then we've just got enough time to show you the Fisker scissors, which we had on yesterday, and again, that have sold exceptionally well. So, so we wanted to bring you the best possible price on these. So we've looked high and low, and you absolutely can't get these for this price anywhere else. So these are Fisker scissors for 9.99. So 24 centimeters. You've got a protective sheath as well. So if you're dropping these in a in a bag with other things, when you're putting your hand in, you're not going to stab yourself. So got a really nice action on them. Really nice dampened feel. So Fisker scissors for 9.99. We're just waiting for, they're just clicking around buttons now, trying to get the graphics in. They're, they're both out on the pop last night, you see. I'll have to hold up a card, where not I? So 9.99, so functional form, scissors, so introductory price of 9.99. So definitely add those to your basket today. 9.99 for Fisker's scissors is amazing. So. So thanks for all the messages. When I get up, come off air, I will read them all. So but I've had hundreds of messages, so thank you very much. We do really appreciate it. We love the interaction. Okay. So, so tomorrow we're back on with um, a proper presenter, Vicky and Susan Briscoe. So tune in tomorrow. We'll see you very soon. And check us out on the fan page in, 
uh, in the meantime. Bye.